in this video we're going to have a look at some of the steering wheel controls which are fitted uh, across most of the range of our cars at the moment we're in a golf but this should be very similar across most of our our vehicles we'll start off on the left hand side and this cluster of buttons here is relating to the vehicle's adaptive cruise control and also uh, the, dr the driver assist systems here so in order to operate the cruise control the adaptive cruise control we first need to switch it on which is the top button here on the right hand side now when that is on you'll see in the display a cruise control symbol and a miles per hour display there and that's going to tell you what speed you've set in for the cruise control to hold the vehicle at in order to actually set the speed we can either use set here which will set into the the display there it will set the speed that you're driving at at the time that you press it so if you're driving at 67 miles per hour it'll cruise at 67 miles per hour or you can use res which will resume whatever speed you last set which will be displayed in that display there in order to change that we can use the plus and the minus button here and as you as you can see when i do this each time you press it that display will change in increments of five miles per hour so we can adjust the speed we're cruising at while we're actually driving without having to knock the cruise control off and then reset it now the vehicle's fitted with adaptive cruise control. If your vehicle has this, you'll have a button here, which looks like a car with a couple of lines behind it. You can see that. And that will allow you to change the distance that the vehicle cruises behind whatever traffic is in front of you. So with the adaptive cruise control, the vehicle will adjust its speed if there's any traffic in front of you. Uh, so slow down if uh, there's any vehicles in front of you that are traveling slower than you've set the cruise control at so you can personalize how far away you want that to be and the display which shows you how far this is is on this particular model just located right at the bottom in the center of the display there and you'll be able to see that each time i press the button it will change from either the closest which is there to further away each time it's pressed now these cars come set on level three out of five which will give you a cruising distance of around about two seconds from from the car in front or from the vehicle in front of you now with adaptive cruise control you can cancel it at any time so if you have set this to a particular speed and and the cruise control is on you can cancel it at any time by either pressing the top on or off button once which is that one there or you can touch the brake pedal and that will do the same job of cancelling the cruise control and giving you back manual control of the speed of the car. The button down here brings up a driver assist menu which will allow you to change various aspects of the driver assistance settings. They will all be set to factory settings so you wouldn't, wouldn't normally need to change these on a day-to-day -day basis but if you press it you'll see the menu appear on the screen and you'll be able to see the various driver assistance systems that are fitted to your particular car. On the left hand side at the bottom we have the control for the audio volume and on the right hand side we have control for the track that we're listening to. So if we're listening to music this will skip or rewind a track or it will move forward and backwards through the various radio stations that you're listening to if you are on the radio screen. The right hand side buttons here will control the multifunction display on the dashboard in front of you. So depending on which dashboard is fitted to your particular vehicle, it could look like this one, which is a active info display, a, a digital dashboard, or it could have analog dials, but the display in the middle, so that's this one here, will be very similar. And it will show you various pieces of information depending on what you've selected with the R steering wheel audio controls. So what we've got here is essentially we have an up and a down button here, we have a left and a right here, and we have an OK to select or to reset whatever we're looking at on the screen. And that's how you control the multifunction display in the middle there. With each press of the left or the right button here, you will see at the top of the screen that it will scroll through various menus. We have assist systems, 
navigation, audio, telephone, which is Bluetooth connected telephone, vehicle status, and then back to driving data. And that just goes round and round in a loop. Now, when you're on a particular menu, you can then use the up and down button, which is these ones here, to move up and down through whatever you are looking at. So at the moment we are looking at driving data and with each press of the button, either up or down, it will move to a different piece of driving data. So we can see we've got things like oil temperature, fuel consumption, average fuel consumption, our range on our remaining fuel, and on diesel vehicles, you'll also have an AdBlue range so you can keep an eye on how much AdBlue you have in your tank. So what you display on this screen is entirely up to you. We can move this down with a press here through all of our driving data. And I'm gonna put this on average fuel consumption. So we can see that on the screen. If you wanted to reset this particular counter, so this is actually counting our fuel consumption, if we held down the OK button, that would reset whatever counter we're looking at on the screen there. The other menus that we have available to us, if we use our left and our right button here, we can move off driving data. We can move on to driver assist systems, which will show you the status of uh, the cruise control system if you have that switched on. The navigation system will show you either your next direction that you need to take when you're using the satellite navigation to navigate a route, or in this particular version with the active info display, we can use it to show the satellite navigation map on the center of the screen there as well. If we press the right hand button again, that's going to take us to the audio screen, which is gonna show us what we're listening to on the infotainment unit there, what audio we are playing. The next press is the telephone screen. Now, when we have a Bluetooth mobile phone connected, we'll be able to browse our, our call history on this screen with the up and down button. The next press is vehicle status, and that's going to give us any information that we need to know. At the moment, this is displaying that we need to add some washer fluid to this car, so that's what this would look like if there were any particular warnings that the car is trying to tell you. And then the next press takes us back to driving data, so you can see how it just goes in a loop and takes us back to the screen that we started on. 